On June 30, 1908, Siberia started its day like any other. Then, without warning, a fireball streaked across the sky. Moments later, a powerful explosion shook the ground, shattering windows hundreds of kilometers away. Trees for miles were flattened, yet strangely, no crater was ever found. Scientists believe the culprit was a rocky asteroid, around 50 meters wide, traveling at 27 km per second, 80 times faster than sound. As it entered the Earth's atmosphere, the pressure built up so intensely that the rock couldn't hold itself together. At around 10 km above the ground, it exploded in a fiery blast, releasing energy equal to 3 to 5 megatons of TNT, 300 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Now, what if it wasn't a rocky asteroid? What if it was made of iron and nickel? Unlike rocky asteroids, metal asteroids don't explode as easily. Instead of bursting mid-air, this one would have crashed straight into the ground, carving out a crater several kilometers wide. Asteroids are still out there. Some are rocky, some are metallic, and some even contain ice and organic material. Their composition determines whether they burn up harmlessly, or slam into Earth with devastating force. That's why scientists track these objects, mapping their size, speed, and composition, to prepare for the next one. The Tunguska event was a warning shot. It struck an empty forest, but what if the next one doesn't? We will have to be careful. Help me by rating this video in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Follow Science Spectra for more.